after almost 15 to 20 years, Blake and Mortens, these two gentlemen, Robert Blake and John Morton, have developed a managerial greed and call it as the leadership greed. You know, their base, sometimes we used to tell our student, which is your base paper, from where you will take the motivation, how you will go through, what is your fundamental theories, what is your fundamental paper, what is your uh, research base. So their research base is OU State University Leadership, which we have just studied. And this, these gentlemen find, try to give the, at the more advanced result. They try to give more solid result, like some, uh, what, what, what you call as the, some gaps are there, some limitations are there, like we are when we are talk, talking about the high and low, in case of OU University, we don't know high means what, what level is high, what is the scale, 0 to 10, 0 to 100, 1 to 100, 1 to 5, what is the scale, so high and low is not defined on the basis of a scale. Now, this studies, which, which you can say as the, try to give the more clear picture in the behavioral leadership theories, try to concentrate and they will also have the two factors like in that and here again the concern for the people and concern for the production. You see here, the base is same what OU has given or why what OU State University has given. The base is same, concern for the people which we call it there as the consideration and concern for the production where we call it as the structure. Now they make it as a graphics form, graph form and they will say that we have the scale on 1 to 9 like on the y-axis, on the y-axis means on the vertical axis, we put the concern for the people. On the x-axis means on the horizontal axis, we keep the concern for the production. And then a scale is from the 1 to 9. Let me show you the graph for that one. If you see, this is the black and mountain managerial grid. Here, as I told you, this is the concern for the people on the y-axis. This is the concern for the production. It is written up, but the, see here, concern for the production. It is the x-axis. And a scale is there, 1 to 9 scale is there. So how many total number of grids are there? 9 into 9, 81 grids are there. Like uh, how it is 1 to 1, 1 and 1 is first grid. 1 and 2 is this grid, 1 and 3 is this grid, 1 and 4 is this grid, 1 and 5 is this grid, 5 and 5 is this grid, 6 and 5 is this grid, this grid name is 6 and 8, like this 81 grids are there. But they say we have to focus the extreme grid, we have to focus like the corner, this is the first corner, means a leader which is score low in concern for the people and low in production case, a leader which is lower in both the cases, concern for the people and concern for the production as well. This leader score is 1 and 1 and it is known as improvised, improvised management. I hope you are getting my point. When a leader is high on the people side, you see a 9 and low at the production side lower, this means this is called as country club management. When a leader is a score in between 5 and 5, means half, half the way, not very good, not very bad, not very high, not very low, but in between, this is called as middle of the road management. And here, the case of where they are low on the management side, uh, people side or human resource side and high on the production side, it is known as authority compliances management and finally when a person or leader is come to the high on the production side and high on the people side it is called as team management it is ideal situation every organization wants its leader to be here so
so i hope you are clear with this managerial grades also you realize that there are very many things are common like high and low is common concern for the people and concern for the production is common of ou that's why i told you this is the same but it is the advance from that one they have taken the gap like the gap is the score is not there like in this case 1 to 4 is clear is considered as lower 6 to 9 score is considered as higher and highest score is 9 so here we can we can adjust whether is your score 5 to 5 9 to 9 9 and 9 9 to 1 and according to that one we can make the plan we can train our people train our leader and he has also given the name like when a people is at the position of one and one improvised management when it is at the one and nine means concern for the people is more and concern for the production is less country club management when at the both the side middle path is there so middle of the road management is there so let us see what happened in each case like what i told this thing is written in this particular slide like concern the people means the degree to which an individual is committed towards the goal achievement maintaining self esteem to worker and satisfying interpersonal relations it means more focus about the people and concern for the production is about their goal about their quality about their creativity about their production about their work efficiency about their output so in the above figure in the last slide what we have seen it it is about the 81 possible category where the leader style may fall but we are going to study about the five categories so let us move to the first category the first one is improvised management this one is one to one score what is one to one score means a leader is very less care or taking very less care of his people one at the lowest position and also he is taking less care of his production one at the second scale so this type of leader is called as improvised 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 management the managers within this leadership style exert the minimum efforts they have done very less they also let me take it the very honestly and tell you what is the keyword for this type of leadership is they are ineffective they are uh, what you call as the result is disharmony dissatisfaction disorganization arises within the organization so these type of people if they come under this one they require a high end of training high end of training first of all they don't supposed to be a leader if they become a leader and if we don't have other choice so these type of people require a long time this type of people require a long training this type of people require more education more development because we know behavior theory is all about to develop the skills through the learning through the training through the knowledge so they what is the what is the role of management over here is they have to recognize the people they have to tell them if they don't have any option they will have to improve them they have to train them otherwise they have to change this one so this is the summary of this particular style second one this is the second one task management task management 9 1 task management means here low for the people you see the name catch the name task so low for the people and high for the production here the leader is more concerned with the production and less emphasis on the personal lead you remember uh, those type of people who are uh, what you call as the they are saying that either you have to produce the things or you have to perish dictatorship style autocratic style where the subordinates are required to perform the task in any case so in this case if we come to know that our leader is task management style or if our leader is more 
production oriented and less or very less people oriented so what should we do if we realize that we have to train them in human skills way because we know he is finite he is at the optimum position in the production style so we don't have to train him in production case half of the work has been done we have to focus more of his human skills we have to train them in the uh, field of how to deal with the people how to develop the in the relationship how to maintain the relationship how to keep the good people how to like this type of things are there so retention is the main concern for this type of management style this thing is clear so let us move to the third third one is middle of the road middle of the road 50 50 5 5 means half of the things a leader is concerned for the people half of the way he is concerned for the production means he is confused type of leader some for the people some for the production a status quo he try to save his position not try to give 100% in both the cases he try to save from his people also he try to save from his bosses also so this type of leader also require training this this because finally this type of leader will give the mediocre result because they want to make the balance between the work environment and satisfactory morale generally in our government organization we see these type of leadership skills are there these type of leadership styles are there where people want to be do the things and up to satisfaction level and also they want to be keep the people happy unto their satisfaction level not more than that so in that case if we realize that our manager is at the position of middle of the road so we so our half of the work is done also here but half of the work has to be completed in both the cases we have to teach them about the production unit to achieve highest how to achieve the highest through the training through the development through the various methods whatever the method is adopted accepted and also we have to train them from both the cases middle of the road is like this next one is country club country club means country club club by name you can understand here the manager or the leader is totally dedicated for his team for his people more concerned for the people but less concerned for the production very less that's why one nine is there here the leader lays more emphasis on the personal need of the subordinates and give less attention to the output so these type of leaders too friendly and high highly irrespective of their production work environment is very relaxed but productivity suffer in the long run production may suffer competitors may come up go better than you and because of the lack of direction and control here the control is very less direction is not there so in this type of things when the company know come to about that one they have to work on the production part on their skills development part which is related with the goal oriented task oriented production oriented if company come to know their leader is focused more on the human part about the people part so this is the concern for their production team management this is the ideal and most effective style where leader take both the people and production hand in hand means you know ideal situation or the best situation is always rare you cannot find this type of people everywhere where they, they focus high on the people and high on the production most effective leadership style passionate for both the things but they are very rare so in this case what to do being a entrepreneur being a organization head we have to keep this type of manager this type of leader with motivation with energy with other intrinsic motivation to keep with them and try to be uh, make them happy and take their experience their training to be the future leader for the future leader 
so as i told you these are the very rare and these are the things which every organization wants to want to achieve so what is the outcome what is the summary of these things this uh, style black and mountain style so advantage what is the advantage of that one the advantage of this one is that being a manager being a organization head we come to know like our manager or our leader is at what position because we we have discussed these things with our uh, even sometimes they will self they will they will self rated themselves on this grid where they are where they are country club position where they are uh, into the task oriented where they are middle path where they are first they will realize and which part is less and which part is more which part they have to focus more that is the meaning of this or that is the advantage of this black and mountain magnet this is done by administrating a questionnaire like i just told you this can be done by how we will improve this one help manager to identify how they stand with respect of their concern of production and the people the training aim is to make every leader to the 9 to 9 scale if some leader is at the 9 to 5 we have to keep them at the highest position 9 to 9 if somebody at 1 to 1 it will take time but we our aim is to keep bring them at the 9 to 9 level so this is the second thing first we have discussed about the ohio state leadership style or university that is the behavior first or the oldest in case of behavioral leadership second we have discussed about the black and mountain management creed it is the advanced study of the ou state of that so i hope you understand these all things Let